It, it is, uh, it, time has gone fast there, but we have put together a good organization. There are over 70 members of the community that are actively engaged in, in trying to raise additional funds to, to accomplish the objective. This is 5,500 acres of land east of Laramie that borders on the National Forest, so you have access to 50,000 more acres. Uh, the concept is, is to purchase that land uh, as, as the county and then make it public space, make it open space so that people can run hike, ride their bikes, ride their horses, and, and really enjoy uh, this spring, for example, right here in Laramie, where we, we know that, that we want to be outdoors. It's a very active community, and this is a great opportunity. So uh, we, we've got some pledge forms together. We have the opportunity online to provide contributions. We're raising the, the funds towards the $10.5 million, but, but that's not enough just to purchase the land. We have to manage the land then, so we're trying to put together a $3 million endowment. And then we want to put together some trailheads and, and some other infrastructure parking lots so that people can access it, which right. we're targeting another million and a half. Which, those don't have to all take place at the same time, but really right now we just need to acquire that land. And we're exploring all options, uh, trying to raise money every way we can, as you can imagine. Ooh, yeah, no doubt about that. Is it gone a little slower than you had? I'd like it to go faster. <laughs> uh, what, one of the challenges is trying to identify state and federal programs that apply to a land purchase. Most, most of the programs that offer substantial amounts of funds, you need to build something for. If we were building wells, if we were building pipelines uh, for, for the water that we're trying to protect through the, through the purchase, we'd be able to access lots of state funds and federal funds. Uh, but it's been a challenge, this idea that we just want to, we want to buy a large piece of land so that the water underneath it can't be polluted, it, it just doesn't happen enough for there to be programs out there that we can take advantage of, as it turns out. But it, it still is certainly the right thing to do for the people of Wyoming. I'll stop you there. Thank you so much for coming in, chatting about these topics. I appreciate it this morning. Great to be here. Thanks for your time.